Hi guys, it's Frugal Gal here. This is going to be a video, um, a tour of the outside of my travel trailer that I live in. Some of you guys were interested in seeing just what it's like to live in a travel trailer. So here's the tour. You might hear some traffic in the background. Um, I hope they don't bother too many people. You'll see right here, this is the back side of my travel trailer. It's a Riverside. It's a 2005. This is the electrical um, where the cord comes out. And what we did is we had it come out and then it goes down underneath the ground and underneath the ground over here to the electric pole which it's hooked to my parents electric so this is the the back side of my travel trailer and i'm just going to take you around and show you well this is the end part and show you you know my travel trailer so let's go around back and i'll show you some things this right here is my glider swing this was actually my grandpa's and my mom's dad and we had it sit and blasted down and painted but the guy didn't do a very good job so it's starting to peel so it needs to be painted in but these are old and see how it glides back and forth these are worth a lot of money so I'm glad I got that because it's a memory I have from my grandpa so this is the back side of my travel trailer um, and this is with a slide out. So the slide out is where I set and do my videos, where my dinette is, and it's where my couch is. Okay? And that's just an electric barbecue grill I'm, I don't use anymore. I'm going to get rid of. So as you can see back here, you go around. I have the two windows. That's the window I have shown you the view out of sometimes in my videos. And um, see, I'll turn you around. See, this is the view that you sometimes look at. On some of my videos okay go back here and then this is a window that is in where my couch is if you're in there you're set on the couch okay so that's the slide out and then sorry the sun's in my eyes so okay here's the next part of it that window there is an emergency window and it's a window that's over my bed and as you can see we've had it um, underpin and then those are doors where you can get in so you can get into the water line so this is all the underpinning underneath it except for the slide out they didn't do it so that helps in the winter time so my pipes don't freeze now you'll notice over here I gotta get out of the sun so I can see you see this coming off of here is a gas line it's buried in the ground because you have you'll, you'll see I have propane the ability to have propane takes here on the back but they weren't enough so and they froze up in winter time so you've got the gas line coming off of it propane and then down in the ground and it's buried and then it goes over here and I have my own small propane tank okay so let's go back around I have my sun's in my eyes so I'm trying not to fall too so there is the other side of my trailer. Those are my batteries. They stay charged all the time because it's hooked to electric. I'm going to move back so you can see the back side of this. So see it says Riverside up there also. If you can see that. I can't tell if you guys are okay. Yeah, it's kind of shaded. And then there's the tongue of it. This is called a tongue, if you guys don't know, if you've never lived in a mobile home. And then I'm set up. So, let's walk around to the front side of the house. Okay. So here's my front side of my house. That's another window in my um, bedroom. Okay, and then I have a small porch. Three, four steps. I fell off that before right there. It was not fun. They had that built by some cousins of mine. This is the front of my house. That is a kitchen window. Of course, my door and I have a screen door behind that. That, that is my exhaust fan over my stove. That is for the refrigerator. That isn't the propane uh, hot water heater. So, and then this is storage that comes into the bunk houses part of it does and then this is storage down here and there was storage on the back side i didn't show you 
so you can see and then that's my antenna if I want a TV but it would be it wouldn't be be the old style TV that's my new air conditioner unit up there that has to be replaced it's over the he taped it when he came and cleaned it but this has all been cleaned so it's really nice and so that, that was over what was the, it's over the refrigerator okay so in front here I have this is like the the electric barbecue pit that you've seen, seen in the back but I took it apart a couple years ago and I plant in it I had flowers in it before right now I've got herbs in it that's parsley and then I have sage in there and oregano and thyme I need to cut my parsley because it's getting really big I got this from LTD commodities because I like pink flamingos and I just put it on there and my potting soil some pots this is donkey donkey and I have been through a lot my mom's had that for years and years his tails broke off and one of his ears broke off but she was gonna just put him down in the what well, we have a dump pile here and I said no 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 because I had broke his ear off one time when I was like 20 years ago and we replaced it and it's broke now it's down there but me and Donkey have history so I had it, my brother move it down to my house so I'm gonna try to get him a new ear I like his tail it's kind of like a bobtail as you can see that and see so you can see that I have it all sided all through here I'm not sided, but underpinned. And I'll there. So, that's basically it, guys. That's a tour of the outside of my house. The next video I'll do will be a tour of the inside. And you can see, I gotta, I gotta keep, keep moving back, keep moving back, keep moving back, so you can see how long it is. It's 26 foot. So 26 foot, and it's 200, and about 204 square feet. And there's the my electric pole and line coming off of it okay and then I have a carport that my car sits underneath so that's, that's my, my house car. hope you guys enjoyed the video and you can see we live in a pretty piece of property and I will talk to you guys soon thumbs up bye